Hey yo, what is up guys, Akarsh here, back with another video and today we are looking at LoRa modules again and we will be making a LoRa project in this video again. So in the past I've done a lot of videos on LoRa, we have taken a look at various LoRa modules that are popular in the markets ranging from the Reacts module to the AI Thinker RA02 to the Hope RFM9895 and the eByte E32 modules as well. These all have different paths, different ranges, different features. I've done a long playlist on these videos. You can watch it from here if you haven't till now. I received many comments uh, about using these LoRa modules and making a project wherein we, maybe we have a kind of remote control and there it is. This is basically a LoRa based remote control with a display with the ESP8266 module with a LoRa module and some buttons. We'll be getting uh, onto this project today. Uh, we'll be breadboarding this project on basic like this and we'll be using the Reacts module. So in this video, you'll learn how to use LoRa module to make a remote control and remotely control your devices like motors, lights through LoRa and no internet. So let's get started. <laughs> PCB GoGo is the leading supplier of turnkey PCB assembly services including PCB manufacturing, PCB assembly, component sourcing, functional testing and IC programming. They have been in the PCB industry for over 10 years. They are equipped with the most advanced production equipment such as Yamaha pick and place, reflow oven, wave soldering, x-ray, AOI testing and the most professional technical staff. PCB GoGo provides the order service from prototype to mass production. Join them now from the link in the description box below. So for starting, we have two breadboards. Each has an ESP8266 node MCU module. They both have an Reax module. So right now we'll test the basic breadboard version. And uh, this is the remote that we have made. So this is a basic LoRa module from Reax. Then we have a button which will act as a push button to send out signal whenever we push this button. And then we have a basic ESP8266 board. And on the other hand, we have this ESP8266 with again a LoRa module from Reax. And we have a couple of LEDs. We'll be testing the both LEDs with two buttons on this remote. And for this, we only have one button which will uh, control one LED. Pressing this button, I press this, it sends the signal to the ESP8266 which in turn sends a signal through LoRa module to this LoRa module, it gets decoded in the ESP8266 and this light gets on. Again when I press this button, it sends the off signal and the LED switches off. So this is a basic remote control circuit wherein I am switching on and off a LED over LoRa. You can use this basic circuit, you can remove these two wires from here connected to a motor driver to control robots. Over large distances, I have personally uh, tested this module for over 5 kilometers and it was working fine. Uh, if we want more range than that, we can use more powerful wattage modules from e -bike, like the E32. I've done a, a video on these powerful modules, you can take a look at it from here if you haven't till now. Now getting onto the circuit that we have built over here, I've also done a very detailed video on the Reacts LoRa modules, uh, wherein you can understand how these works, how you can control them. The video will be in the description below and over here as well. Uh, for the circuit, we have a basic circuit and this is the circuit that I have built over on the left hand side for the remote part of it. So let's call this breadboard as the remote. The code uh, that goes into the ESP8266 is present on my uh, GitHub which will be linked down in the description box below. And you can basically connect this circuit. It's a pretty simple circuit. You can program the ESP8266 and you'll be good to go. On the other hand, the, the receiver circuit or the circuit which controls the things or has the LEDs and the motor is also a simple circuit. This is the circuit diagram uh, with the ESP8266, the Reacts module and a couple of LEDs. You can increase the number of LEDs or the number of devices you want to control. The code for this will be in the GitHub repository as well. You can connect it according to the circuit diagram flash the ESP8266 with the code present in the github repository and you will be good to go you will be able to test this basic circuit once you're comfortable with this basic circuit you can remove this uh, simple uh, remote control thing and you can 
uh, get the this remote control so we had designed this remote control some videos back the video for this is over here you can take a look at this video and learn how to build your own remote like this the design file for the pcb will be in the github repository that i'll be linking down below as well you, you can get the pcb manufactured assemble it yourself and you'll be having a good looking remote the code for this remote uh, which goes on to the ESP8266 will be on my GitHub repository as well. You just need to switch this on using the power button over here. It already has the same reacts module that we used in our previous simple remote breadboard remote, which I am saying it. Uh, now, because we have two LEDs, I've programmed it so that when I press the up button, one LED goes on. So I press the up button. The reacts module sends the signal. This LED goes on. I have this back button programmed as well, uh, which says back button pressed and this LED switches on. If I press the back button again, this LED should switch off. There you go. And if I press the up button, this LED should switch off as well. You can make a good UI over here. So that is the purpose. I made these four buttons with up, down, back and select. You can make a good UI. You can control many things. You can use this remote to uh, essentially control a full smart home as well if you want to add more buttons and it runs with only an ESP8266 you can increase the scope of project you can add in sensors to this add multiple LoRa modules as LoRa works in a mesh network so if we want we can have all these three devices working together as well with one of them as the remote or both of them can act as a remote of controlling a single device at one time as well so in this video we kind of integrate all the knowledge of the reacts module of this remote control that we have built previously to kind of get it all in one package to understand what we can do with LoRa. You can replace these LEDs with multiple smart home devices or relays and then you can control essentially anything you want over LoRa. The great part about LoRa is that you can achieve a very large range which you cannot with any other radio technology in this price and power range. If you have any project idea in mind with LoRa or without LoRa as well do let me know in the comment section down below so that I can make a video of that. The detailed build instructions of the uh, breadboard remote control and the controller and the and this fancy remote control will be listed down in the instructables the link of all the codes the diagrams and the instructable will be in the description box below do check that out and that is it from my side for today in this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't till now. Also hit the bell icon to stay notified. This is our first signing off.